Good day and welcome to our virtual gallery. Postmodernism was a reaction against modernism. While modernism was based on idealism and reason, postmodernism was born of skepticism and suspicion of reason. Postmodern art drew on philosophy of the mid to late 20th century. While the modernists championed clarity and simplicity, postmodernism embraced complex and often contradictory layers of meaning. So now, here are the categories for the popular art. Andy Warhol first exhibited Campbell Soup Cans in 1962. Each one of Warhol's 32 canvases corresponds to a different flavor of Campbell Soup. Warhol mimicked the repetition and uniformity of advertising by carefully reproducing the same image across each individual canvas. The Merlin Diptych is a silkscreen painting by American pop artist Andy Warhol, depicting men on the road. Silkscreening was a technique used to create this painting. The 25 images on the left are painted in color, right side is black and white. The painting consists of 50 images. Wham! is a 1963 diptych painting by Roy Lichtenstein. This two-panel painting measures 1.7 meters by 4 meters. The artwork shows a fighter plane firing a rocket and hits a second plane which explodes in flame. Next, for our happening art. Robert Whitman's American Moon was first performed at a Rubin Gallery in New York City. The piece consisted of six paper tunnels which radiated outward from the performance area where the audience would sit to watch piles of clothing moving. Capro created Yard for Hauser and Wright's opening New York show, Environment Situation Spaces. The piece illustrates sculpture's expansion in scale and the increasingly blurred boundaries between a lifelike and an art-like art. Stamp vendor involved stamps that artist Robert Watts created and placed inside of actual stamp dispensers that Watts borrowed from the United States Post Office. The borrowing was in protest of certain policies of the United States government at the time Watts deemed oppressive. For our performance art, the work involved Abramovic standing still while the audience was invited to do to her whatever they wished using one of the 72 objects she had placed on a table. Shoot was a performance done in 1971 by Chris Burden in which he arranged to have himself non lethally shot. The piece was committed to the resensitization of people to the violence that had become less and less shocking due to its constant imagery being invoked in the media. Athi causes himself physical pain and by being an HIV positive homosexual and previous IV drug user, Athi addresses audiences fears in connection to gender, sexuality, pleasure, and infection. Next, our installation art. The vertical structures repeated throughout My Brother Brancusi, described by Rhodes as Columns for Infinity, allude to Brancusi's endless columns sculptures, all varying in material and size. The In-Between by Thomas Hitchhorn is a dissection of 21st century infrastructure. The work depicts a fractured cross-section of the reality within which we embed ourselves. And lastly, for our graffiti art. The theme of the painting is world peace, as suggested by the title Tutto Mondo, which translates to all world. The gesture in the red balloon symbolizes childhood and freedom. Whether you see the girl as losing the balloon or about to catch it, the meaning can be interpreted as a loss of innocence or a symbol of new hope and love. It shows a mass Palestinian throwing a bouquet of flowers. In 2005, there was a gay parade in Jerusalem, which was attacked by protesters. This image could be a response to that event.
postmodernism refused to recognize the authority of any single style or definition of what art should be. It collapsed the distinction between high culture and mass or popular culture, between art and everyday life. Postmodernism broke the established rules about style and it introduced a new era of freedom and a sense that anything goes. Often mixing different artistic and popular styles and media, postmodernist art can also consciously and subconsciously borrow from or ironically comment on a range of styles from the past.